uh, now we are going to demonstrate uh, broadside array uh, and eight fire array by using uh, fdtd technique and this is the software called as an em cube uh, this version is 13.4 <coughs> now we are going to define uh, this dipole array first uh, basically this window is called as a uh, drawing window or schematic window this is project browser uh, we have to select uh, the models from here that is em tempo that is fdtd model this is the project browser of the FDTD where we have to declare our uh, drawings and shapes. We have to uh, uh, excite uh, the uh, sources and put the observation for our antenna. So first we have to set uh, the uh, grid spacing 5 millimeter or 10 millimeter. Say OK. Put the frequency like uh, center frequency is 1 gigahertz, bandwidth is 1 gigahertz. Click OK. Uh, now we have to click on the dipole symbol, wire symbol place it in the this direction basically the four element dipole uh, array we are going to make uh, so this is minus 180 this is minus 90 and uh, length of the di uh, frequency is 1 gigahertz so the wavelength is 300 so the lambda by 2 is 150 so you have to keep it 150 over here then uh, again we can either go for the array kind of structures or we can draw uh, one more element that is again minus 180 minus 90 150 is the length of the antenna and here basically we can uh, vary this thing uh, we can keep uh, our antenna uh, 75 plus 75 first dipole and in the properties we go here properties and in fact we can also write dipole 1 okay and we can keep it minus 75 so the distance between these two antenna is lambda by 2 again the length is lambda by 2 and the distance is lambda by 2 so and we will just reduce the size so this is the at the center side from minus uh, plus 75 and minus 75 the total distance is 150 so this is the dipole number 2 we can write dipole 2 okay so now these two dipoles are created the next job is to create the insert source in, when we say insert source, so it automatically goes to dipole 1 uh, half uh, exactly half of the thing is uh, uh, 75 uh, the phase is 0 magnitude is 1 say so click ok again go to lamp source insert source but scroll this time dipole 2 so if when you say dipole 2 this is the dipole 2 source is there half, exactly half, uh, at the half wave side uh, we are feeding the, this dipole so uh, these are the two things now go to the far field pattern insert new radiation pattern so you can calculate the directivity half power beam width you can compare and say ok so now this our observation completed source completed even meshing since that is the automatic settings now this all project browser is completed so there is a button called as a run this green color button go and say run earlier pattern is completely circle having 1.66 uh, db directivity for the single dipole okay now go to observation go to far field and here is your total plot and now earlier plot is a circle as you know and this directivity you can see this 4.08 is the directivity now you can look this this exactly dumbbell shapes are coming and here you are achieving 4.0 now our job is to extend this uh, antenna uh, now it is two element we will go for the four element to do the four element again go to insert menu draw the pictures in the center again 150 minus 180 
minus 90 but distance is now we have to keep uh, more distance like 1 uh, 150 plus uh, 75 this much distance we require so that is uh, uh, 150 plus 75 is almost uh, uh, 225 but at the minus side we have to keep it here okay so the third dipole is comes over here again we required a fourth element so the fourth element again minus 180 80 minus 90 and 225 so plus 225 length is 150 say so, okay now these four elements are coming so now again go to uh, excitation lump source insert new lump source find out this line line 3 number line number 3 means this this is the line number 3 the port is coming say ok then again insert line number 4 that is dipole number 4 and this now this everywhere is the port is assigned <laughs> again come to this run yes this is the broad side for element uh, array we are going to run broad side means what equal amplitude and equal phase the phase are zero the phase zero apply here 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 amplitude is constant and uniform amplitude uniform uh, spacing and um, uniform phases are there then that is an uh, uh, actually characterization of the uh, broad side array now it took a, a little bit more time to converge these things Okay, now we can visualize this four plot. Earlier, there is no side lobes are there, but you can visualize this is the side lobes comes or this area, this area, and this area. Directivity definitely increases. Earlier directivity is a four dB, but now the directivity is eight dB, eight point six five. But the, uh, uh, at the same time, you are getting the four side lobes due to the uh, this amplitude nature. So we here you can see this plot basically uh, this four plot you can see this uh, beam width also hpbw also vary you can see this in the cartesian also in the yz direction you go uh, or you can go in the polar plot polar plot yz direction is a and say plot this is here is a clear but if you go in the first one say plot ah, so this is the side lobes created the four side lobes are created there's a beam hpbw uh, is very small at here and the gain and directivity is also get achieved in the broad side now what we'll do we will just click on these phases go to properties and change the phase all phase we are keeping at 90 degree because broad side means whenever your phase and your distance is equal it's giving only the same patterns 90 properties again 90 same phases i am giving 90 okay so earlier that phase is 0 0 0 0 but now it is 90 90 and say run run yes Now again click to this thing still the plot is same even these all phases are the same your plot is not going to be changed even your directivity is also 8.653 uh, directivity is there. So uh, nothing is going to be changed if the phases and uh, uh, uniform amplitude and uniform spacing is there. Now we are what we are going to do. We are putting a progressive catch. It means uh, suppose if it is uh, uh, like uh, zero degree, then the second is minus ninety degree. 
then the third phase is minus 180 degree and the fourth phase is two, minus 270 so I, for everywhere I keep 0, minus 90, minus, minus 180 and minus 270 so these are three phases we are given over here now again we run the things in the broad side the pattern comes in this direction and this direction the four side lobes are there directivity is much greater for the four element Now uh, basically this simulation is finished. Click OK, close, and now we observe the pattern. And now this you observed already that this pattern is the uh, last time this is in this direction, but now it is shifted to in the axis of the direction. So we just keep it one window, reduce the block. Okay. Earlier that is in this X in Y position. Now it is in this direction. Extended directivity you are getting. Plus side lobes also increasing. Uh, the main lobe is 4.46. In fact, uh, this uh, this is we referred from the uh, one very popular book called as an. Uh, John D. Cross. In that John D. Cross, uh, on page number 118, uh, uh, there is an uh, experiment called as an uh, extended uh, directivity of end fire antenna. Same experiment we are followed over here. And uh, this is the uh, front pattern. And uh, you can see here the big back lobes are coming. These two side lobes are coming. But at the same time, the null depth is very big. So this depth you can observe over here. This depth is uh, very big. So entirely, if you change the phase, uh, your beam direction could be changed. Suppose if we go uh, in the second uh, and click on the right click and say property. And instead of 90, if we go for the plus. Uh, uh, if we keep it uh, like uh, uh, 90 plus okay and uh, in the second we go and say again 0 okay and again 90 so we are showing the effect of the phases over the antenna radiation pattern This when you put the progressive phase shift of 90 degree, it is uh, basically in fire array. When the there is no progressive phase shift, it is a broad side. Now I put uh, zero degree, 90 degree, zero degree, 90 degree. Earlier that is an in fire antenna, which is having a progressive phase shift of 90. But now I put uh, purposefully only the two phase shift is 90 90 difference is there and two are the same and two are the different okay. earlier the uh, as we know that the there is an a uh, change in the direction also you can observe this this direction uh, and uh, earlier that is in this direction but now it is shifted but i want to focus one more thing and that is on the polar plot you will go and uh, see the polar plot, see plot. Okay. So this is the one of the plot x, y, where we can observe uh, okay. So this is the plot which we feel important. So here is the actually your uh, zero degree uh, almost, uh, and this is the your uh, uh, sorry here is the uh, zero degree, ninety degree, two seventy and three sixty. So if you excite this antenna with the ninety degree and zero degree unbalanced, you can see here is the basically some uh, differences there. It is close to uh, ninety means you can say that is the eighty degree here there, and there is the minus eighty degree. And the difference is almost uh, uh, 160 degree. 
and uh, this difference is coming because of your phase difference if you vary the phase difference this beam going to be steer in this region so are this beam getting closer or uh, deeper uh, from the center position or from the broad side position so by using variation of the phase you can steer the beams um, in this uh, coordinate also so this is the uh, smallest uh, uh, demonstration of the broad side array and the uh, end fire array uh, and the effect of the phase over the four element uh, antenna array thank you